Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Long time no see, but I am here to bring you some serious cleaning motivation. I'm at my mom's house again today and we are gonna get some cleaning done. I have to unpack the rest of her clothes from her move and hang those up. And we're also going to be organizing some of her shelves in her bedroom. So I hope you guys are ready for today's video and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into cleaning the kitchen. I've already started with the oven and the countertops. I'm just spraying everything down with the Dawn dish soap dish soap and then I'm going to clean the microwave right now we're gonna clean it inside and out make sure it's nice and clean for her and just give her kitchen a little refresh So I use the Dawn dish soap to clean the microwave and just like water, hot soapy water. And then I'm also gonna use some Windex cleaner on the outside to make it more shiny and get all the fingerprints off of it, which it did work, but I have stainless steel appliances at home. So I typically use a stainless steel cleaner. So I don't know if there's like a specific cleaner for the plastic appliances. If you know one, leave it down below. So I wanted to acknowledge my lack of posting or the fact that my videos are more spaced out right now. I don't wanna not mention it. I am not posting every single week like I typically do, but it's summer vacation for our kiddos. So I know a lot of us parents are trying to get in as much time as possible with them, whether you work outside the house or your home, you're trying to figure out ways and prioritize and be intentional with this summer break before they go back to school. And I've also, been working on building my esthetician business which also takes some time I'm not full time with it but I am working on building that you guys if you follow me on Instagram you know I do skincare and I'm also a lash tech so I'm just kind of building on that slowly also just kind of in, just enjoying the summer break that's all I can say I can't really make excuses besides I am going to show up as much as possible this summer but at the same time now you guys are kind of aware I don't want to leave any when hanging and make any promises like on this certain day I'm going to post and then I don't show up I will eventually make a more consistent schedule when the time is right I'm just kind of in this headspace with social media and not wanting to be on it as much as I have been you guys are a big part of my life and you have been for eight years I've given eight years of my life to being on social media in this way and having like a schedule and producing content and stuff. So I do love you guys dearly, but I don't know, just kind of slowing down on social media for now because it is summer and my daughter is home all day. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. But I will pick up my videos eventually. Bear with me for now and thank you for always showing up for me. And I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Also, if you want to talk to me, you can chat with me over on Instagram. I'm also not as active over there as well, but I check it more frequently. Like you can DM me and when I get on and pop on, then I can respond to your comments there if you want to chit chat or something. I'm still posting YouTube videos. It's not like I'm stopping. It's just that's why there's been more days until I have a new video up is because of those reasons. <music>
So now we're gonna go ahead and clean my mom's bedroom. I am starting off by taking her blankets to the wash. I am gonna start with cleaning off her nightstand and this whole area on the side was kind of cluttered. So there was some stuff on the floor, some stuff underneath the nightstand that we wanted to organize, which I'll do later on, and just kind of like clean up under there and minimize what we store under there. So whenever I need to declutter a space and clean it up and there's a lot to work with, I always execute a plan in my head and I say it out loud. I'm like, we're gonna tackle the mail and then we want to store the photos. She had a lot of photos out in a box that we needed to kind of compile together, store those. I wanted to clean the baseboards, which we're gonna wipe those down in sections as I go around the room and clean. That's when I will wipe the other baseboards and then just cleaning, the standard cleaning, cleaning the surfaces of things, vacuuming, so on. So we're kind of just moving our way around the room. So that picture right there is my youngest brother, Elijah, when he was a baby. And then this is so beautiful. This is where we lived in Germany when I was younger, in Ansbach, Germany. And then, of course, I had to share this picture of my mom when she was younger. She looks so beautiful. I just love it. I'm just clearing out this laundry basket where she had stored a bunch of different things. So we're just finding a home for these things. It had some of her jewelry boxes, all of those photos, and just some random things that she put in there for her move. Small city thinking, I get why you left Small-minded people, sure know how to drink I came to the party, I laughed at the jokes you made I wish that I hadn't, cause now the jokes on me I didn't come here just so I could watch you make a mess I didn't come here to ugly cry in my favorite dress So these are the shelves that we're gonna start with today. There are plenty of spaces in our home that we do need to organize, but for now, we're just gonna hit these shelves. I did pick these organizers up from Target. The big ones were $7. We got four of those for the bottom two shelves, and then the smaller ones were $5 each. So if you are looking for storage bins and you don't wanna spend too much on it and just kind of go the budget-friendly route, but still have that aesthetically pleasing, cohesive look in your space, I will link these down below so you can check them out. Target has so many different kinds, but we went with this mesh kind with the handles, but these specific ones actually came in a couple other styles and colors.
So we're gonna put the suitcase out in my mom's shed and then I'm going to finish the baseboards on the other side of the room, get it vacuumed, get it mopped, and then head to the living room to do the same. So since I don't have my hand held smaller head for the Dyson, I'm just using a Clorox wipe and giving it a good clean on the bottom there before I vacuum the couch with it. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this clean with me video and hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys comment down below and say hi. Also, I hope you guys are having an amazing summer. Make sure you stay cool out there. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye you guys. I'm